tonight on downtown St. Louis and Kiel Center. Boy, the Blues haven't played here much lately. In fact, the only game here at home in a stretch of 10. And there's a big crowd on hand inside. It's the Toronto Maple Leafs and the St. Louis Blues getting together for the first time this season. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Kiel Center. I'm Ken Wilson. We're glad you're with us tonight. Bruce Affleck is here. Dan McLaughlin is here. And it's a special night. It's the celebration of the life of the late Doug Wickenheiser, who so proudly wore number 14 with the Blues and scored that memorable goal on that Monday night in May in 1986 that propelled the Blues past the Calgary Flames and back to Calgary for the seventh game of the Campbell Conference Championship Series. The Blues, of course, lost the game. Doug Wickenheiser has lost his life, but 10 great seasons in the league. He was a battler from day one and will always be remembered. And tonight, his life is going to be honored here at Keel Center, and we'll have it all for you right here on Fox Sports Midwest. Meanwhile, about the game, the Blues have been on the road lately a lot. So has Toronto. The Blues come home one win in their last five. Now, Toronto with a lot of road action. Only one loss in their last six. There's the story on the road trip for the Blues. Really not enough goals. Remember in their one win in Buffalo, they got four of the eight. The Blues with only two wins in their last 13 on the road. By the way, their worst road record, 78-79, they won only four. And of course, they've won more than that already this season. In the game Tuesday night in Phoenix, the Blues lost Jamie McLennan. Early in that game on a, an early Coyotes goal, he injured his hip. So he's day to day. Here's the play. Shane Doan made a great pass over. He'll get up, come in for the rebound. But watch the play here. Now Jamie McLennan goes down. This is where he's injured making the save. He goes to get up. And it's very, very difficult. Phoenix goes on to get the goal. He continued for quite a while before being replaced by Grant Fuhr. But he's just not going to be able to go. Rich Perron has been called up from Worcester. And Grant Fuhr will get the call tonight against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Meanwhile, we want to add at home here, the Blues have been a pretty good team. They've had only five losses here at Keel Center this season in their 19 home games. Meanwhile, Let's turn to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Everybody talks about this club as a big surprise. And look at their overall record. 26, 16, and 3, second in the East, averaging over three goals a game. That's best in the National Hockey League. And they have not lost in six games against Central Division teams, the division they were in until this season. And of course, they have Curtis Joseph. In 10 games in his career with Edmonton against the Blues, 7 and 3, a couple of shutouts, 1.61 goals against average. And, well, he's been unbelievable. How about this? In 10 games this season, when they've had 30 or more shots on Joseph, he and the Leafs have not lost. You know how acrobatic he is. He's absolutely fabulous to watch, and you can believe he's prepared to put on a great show here at Keel Center tonight. Well, Mike Kitchen, a Blues assistant coach for the first season, has been in his career quite frequently with the Toronto organization. Let's get more and go to Dan McLaughlin. Well, Ken, you mention it. Mike Kitchen knows all about the Toronto Maple Leafs. He spent the past nine seasons prior to this year in Toronto. So tonight is going to be a bit emotional for him. One thing, when you're an assistant coach, you get to know the players as well as your kids. And people find that strange. But you, you spend every day uh, for nine months with them. And on the practice, you know when they're down, you know when they're up. You get to really know their personalities. And, you know, you can go up to each individual and say to them, say, well, you know, is something bothering you today? And they look at you and they say, how do you know? You know, and uh, so I know them very well. They're players. You know, I was there for nine years. And, uh, yeah, and I have a lot of good friends over there. Well, Ken, you can see it right there. Mike Kitchen was getting very emotional this morning at the skate, talking about the Toronto Maple Leafs, and this should be a very special night for Mike Kitchen, the Blues assistant coach. Back upstairs to Ken and Bruce. All right, thanks very much, Dan. The lights are out, and they are beginning this ceremony. The lights out, Tom Calhoun on the PA, and there's the family of Doug, Doug Wickenheiser. So let's go downstairs to ice level now for what should be a most touching ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, last week on Tuesday, January 12, 1999, Wick's valiant battle against cancer was finally decided. During his fight, Wick's spirit rallied St. Louis and our hockey club. 
Wick made us all care about matters that are truly important, family, community, and faith. The launch of the 14 Fund, the Blue's new charitable trust, was inspired by Wick's determination and goodness to his fellow man. In short, Wick made a difference. In the end, Wick was, in fact, victorious. Blues fans, let's live, laugh, and love for a moment with number 14, Doug Wickenheiser.
Drivers Caitlin, Rachel, and Carly. From Regina, Saskatchewan, Doug's father, Charlie, his sister, Marcia, and brothers, Kurt and Claude, and his sister-in-law, Donna. And from St. Louis, Diane's parents, Ted and Dolores Peppel, brothers, Kim and Rob, and sister, Kathy. Also, say hello to Wick's close friends, Dennis Hennessy, Neil Hilke, and Lou Tevlin, and the St. Louis Blues alumni, led by Wick's best friend, number 28, Greg Pazlowski. Blues Vice President and Television Analyst Bruce Affleck will present to Diane Wickenheiser a plaque recognizing the Monday Night Miracle and the spark Wick provided in the Lawn Sugar 14 Fund. Ladies and gentlemen, as we look toward the flags of the United States and Canada, there is no more appropriate way to celebrate the life of Doug Wickenheiser than to let Wick hear you tonight as you were in raising the roof of the arena on Monday, May 12, 1986. Keel Center in tribute to the heart, courage, and resolve of number 14, Doug Wickenheiser. God bless you, Wick. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, in tribute to Wick, please sing with Mr. Edward Curtis as he leads us in the singing of O Canada and the Star Spangled Banner.